Today, we're going to be talking about some jobs that you can do from home and make some serious money. Hi, I'm Joseph. And I'm Tasha from One Big Happy Life, and we make videos about how to find balance, build wealth, and live happy. So if you are all about creating the life that you want on your own terms, then be sure to subscribe to our channel because we make videos that are all about that. A few weeks ago, Tasha made a video about her working from home morning routine and got a lot of questions from people interested in, of course, working from home and how she got a job that allows her to do that because it's amazing and it is amazing, it's awesome. And so in this video, we put together a few really good options that you can look into so that you too can start working from home if you don't already do that. And in putting together this list, we were looking for a couple of things. Like one, we definitely prioritize things that we were familiar with, either because we make money at home doing it, or because we pay other people <laughs> to make money from home doing it. And secondly, we wanted things that weren't just kind of like fly by night, quick cash, like not really a career, not something that was fulfilling. Like, yes, you absolutely can be a customer service rep for a call center and make money from home. And that's a great thing. But we wanted to do things, pick things that could really be passion projects, things that you might want to do that is fulfilling, also gives you the balance that you want, and also is lucrative so that you can create the kind of a lifestyle that you want. So to start off, let's talk about your current job, because I can almost guarantee you, if you are using a computer, like if you're, if you're doing physical labor, then, I, then it's not going to apply. But other than that, somewhere, somebody is doing your current job virtually, mm -hmm. or at least they are doing, working from home one day a week, several days a week. It is completely possible. Yeah, like Joseph and I, we are both attorneys, I practice, Joseph doesn't, and we have always prioritized finding jobs that allow us to work from home at least a few days a week. Now, we've never found jobs that allow us to work from home 100% of the time, although those jobs do exist. We even, just, yeah. They exist even at our current uh, Oh yeah, that's true, employers. at our current employers, just under certain circumstances, which we don't <laughs> meet those circumstances. But it just goes to show you, even doctors, nurses, there are, there are teledocs now, telenurses, that you have appointments with them virtually instead of having to actually go out and physically go to a doctor's office. And everything else is the same. The pay is the same, the benefits are the same, and more employers are looking for people that, that want teleworking jobs because especially millennials love to work from home. And today's technology makes it very, very easy. The Really, the only hindrance to it is getting the existing companies and the management to be comfortable with managing people that they never see. So how do you get a job working from home doing the kind of work that you're doing right now? So there are a couple options. You can start by talking to your current employer and just saying, hey, I would, you know, I'm looking for some workplace flexibilities. I think that this would be a benefit for the company because it shows that actually workers that are in the office are less productive than workers that work from home. And also it would reduce company overhead because then maybe we could desk share. There are lots of ways that you can make it clear to your boss that it will benefit the company and benefit you. And yes, you can point out that it will boost employee morale as well, which will help retention. There are also some places that you can look for jobs like flex jobs, which exists completely to help you find jobs that are virtual and offer flexible, flexible schedules, those kinds of things. And so that is a great resource to see what is out there. And then you just look for whatever it is you're doing now that has that flexibility that you really want. Also, when you're job hunting generally, right? Because if you're working for an employer that's not flexible, we recommend looking for a new job regardless. And so just make it clear to potential employers that that is something that you're interested in. And so then you just ask them, well, what are your work from home flexible schedule work options? Because that's something that's really important to me. And if they say we don't do that, then they're not the right employer for you. So by the way, any resources that we mention in this video, we will drop a link to the companion blog post for this video that you can go there and check out all of the resources, check out all of the information that we're giving in this video. 
Second is starting a YouTube channel, which clearly we have done this and it's been wildly successful. We've been able to grow our YouTube channel to a six figure business in under two years. So it is a really big deal. And also one of the things that is really different about this is that YouTube is a business, like our channel is its own business. And so we're not actually working for anybody else. And that's one thing about our list here. It's that we want people to focus on being able to create their own business and not necessarily having to go out and find a job where they're working for somebody else. Mm -hmm. One of the things that we hear a lot from people is that they're looking for a job or they're looking for something else. And the great thing about having your own business, which is what YouTube is, is that you can go out and make more money without having to worry about someone hiring you because there are lots of different ways to make money with YouTube. And so that gives you a little bit more control over where it goes and how much money you make and you know little, the other things that of course come with that, like what kind of hours you're working and stuff like that, mm -hmm. which so, that's always nice. So we have two resources to help you get started with YouTube. The first is our YouTube seven day quick start guide, which again, we will drop links to these resources um, over on the blog post. And then the second is a printable that we did that shows you 10 ways that you can use YouTube to make extra money. But YouTube is honestly just a fabulous way to build your business online and have total control of your schedule and the kinds of projects that you take on. So it kind of beats working, just working for someone else. Number three, virtual assistant. Now this is going to be a bit of a hybrid because a virtual assistant is most likely a contractor. They work freelance. So they work for many different people, which means they have many different employers. But the reality is they are also, they are running their own business where they are providing services to other businesses. So what kind of services does a virtual assistant provide? Well, we've actually just recently hired a virtual assistant, but they can do lots of different things. So they can help you manage how many emails you're getting, which Tasha especially gets tons of emails and needs to be able to prioritize the ones that she gets back to the fastest because we have a very limited amount of time. And so going through hundreds of emails a day, that's, that's tough. They can do things like scheduling your calendar, blocking out your time for projects that you need to work on. They can schedule travel, take care of you know, appointments, make phone calls, like all sorts mm -hmm. of stuff for you. Do research. Um, that's one of the things that our VA is doing. She also knows how to um, like work the back end of WordPress for us. So she's able to upload our blog posts and format them and add the pictures in things that would take me a really long time. She is an expert at, and so then I don't have to do it. She does it for me. And so, yes, that means that we are diverting our business revenue into other people to help us out with our business, but that frees us up to do things like content creation, like making these kinds of videos for you guys. Now, if you're a little hesitant of just getting out there and starting your own VA business, there are, there are some employers that are looking for people to do the virtual assistant jobs in the more traditional employee employer relationship. But also we do have a resource and of course we'll leave a link for that to, so you can go and learn how to be a virtual assistant and start getting clients and, and creating your own business that does that. And when it comes to how much a virtual assistant can make, well, the pay can start at $20 an hour and go up from there. For a really experienced VA, they could be as much as $100 an hour because or more because it just depends on what they're capable of. Like if they're able to run, say, email campaigns, email advertising or Facebook advertising or doing some of the like easy lower level graphic design, then they can command a higher rate for their work. And so a great way to get into it is to start small and then train yourself up and then you can command those higher prices. Number four is a Pinterest manager. So this is a very specialized virtual assistant that handles all the things that you're doing on Pinterest, which if you're not really familiar with Pinterest, you are missing out. So let me tell you how Pinterest works because I was handling our Pinterest. Joseph's like, that's okay. I'm right there with you because I wasn't doing our Pinterest either. <laughs> <laughs> no, but okay. So the way that Pinterest works is Pinterest is a sort of picture 
search engine where you post pins that relate back to your blog post and the people who are looking for that kind of stuff, like say, for example, someone who's looking for a video about, or a, pic, a you know, information on how to make money online, we might have a pin to this very video. And so a Pinterest VA would make the pin, would pin it on Pinterest and give it proper keywords and pin it to boards to make it more likely that the right eyes would see it. And so what that does is gets traffic over to your videos and your blog posts. And so it helps business owners who are looking to serve an audience of people interested in the kind of content that they make. Yeah, so it's a little bit graphic designer, a little bit copywriter. I mean, it's a little it's, bit SEO. Yeah, so so there's technical and the creative side side of that. So, I mean, and it's it's really useful. Obviously, we needed one. <laughs> yes, we do have one, and um, the one that we have again went through Gina Horky's specialized Pinterest VA course, and so she is managing our Pinterest now. Whereas I was sort of haphazardly doing it in between the cracks, she is now devoted to doing it for us, and she of course has other clients because she's running her own Pinterest VA business. So again, we will drop a link to that resource down in the um, in the article over on our website, so you can go check that out. I'm sure you're wondering how much money you can actually make making these pens, and it can be really serious money. It can be. $500 to $1,000 per client per that, month. Per month. So, I mean, obviously put that together, that can be a lot of money with just a few clients. Number five, become a writer or editor. And you might have noticed a trend here that all of these jobs are either things that we are, are currently doing, have done before, or we have hired people to help with or do it completely now. Yeah, so we write. Um, we write for ourselves in that we write our blog. We write the weekly emails that we send out to the people that are on our, ma our mailing list. And we also write for other companies. So we write an article for Intuit's Turbo once a month, once or twice a month, and have been doing that for almost a year. And we just hired our first writer. And we are super excited about it. And while we really enjoy doing all the writing, it is also very time consuming. And so to free up some time, we hired somebody to help us out. And while you might be thinking, well, don't writers just stick to like books and you know newspapers and that kind of thing? No, they write all sorts of things. So blog posts, anything that's on a company's website, letters that they send out, their emails that they send out, all of that, somebody is over there writing it. And they, and it takes so much time, Clearly, there are a lot of them, a lot mm -hmm. of jobs out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I read something about like there were like good writers always being able to find a job or feed themselves or something like that. I don't know. I don't know if that's true, but I know that we're still looking for <laughs> a couple more writers, um, especially with our business growing as much as, as it has and us producing as much content as we do, much of which you guys don't see because um, unless you're following us everywhere on every place that we write for, you won't see it. But it takes a lot of time and we do still work full time. And so we have to start hiring this stuff out. So if you happen to be a freelance writer and want to throw your hat in the ring, feel free to email us. <laughs> and to get started doing this, I mean, it can be as simple as you look at the, the blogs or you know whichever websites you go to read. Well, whatever content they have, you can write some similar content and see if you know they pay for articles mm -hmm. or um, or if they'll just let you guest post to help help get your name out there so you have a little bit of a portfolio to, as you're looking for, for more writing work. Yeah, definitely have that portfolio in place. And then you can start pitching different places, different editors and say, hey, I'm looking to write articles for you. Here are some ideas I have. And here is a sample of my work. And then find out how much they're willing to pay per article. While we wanted to fit everything that we could think of in this video, it was just too long. So head over to our website and check out the blog post that goes with this video for five more really good jobs that you can do from home. All right, hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.